It's too expensive to be able to afford to retire in the United States. All right, hold on a second. Got a dog that just came in. You guys got to make up their minds. In or out, in or out. All right, so I, I cannot. I hear this so much. It's too expensive to retire. Now he wants to go back outside. Let me show you what this happens here. There he is. He comes in. He goes, Dad, I hear you're talking to somebody. Now, I just want to make sure you're not cheating on me with another dog. <laughs> All right, so it's too expensive to retire in the U.S. So I have to go to the Philippines, Mexico, Mexico, Panama. I don't know where else people go. Honduras now. Hell, I was talking to somebody who moved to Nicaragua. That's probably, hey, more power to you, man. Argentina. I haven't heard many people talk about going to Argentina, which is weird. Some people want to go to Portugal. Uh, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. When I hear this is too expensive to retire in the United States, I just laugh because um, I'm going to show with you right here. I got an email from this guy. We'll call him Anthony. And I'm not going to say much about him, but I just kind of I chuckled because his. Uh, let's see. Let me do that email. Hold on a second. Let me pause it real quick. So my wife and I met at work, got married. She quit to raise the kids. All three kids are now out of the house. Smart kids, um, but costs were high, as you will soon find out. Now, if they stay in Georgia and maintain a 3.5, get this, or maybe 3.75, Zell Miller, then they're just paying for a uh, room and board. Uh, kids have no student debt. We've lived quite frugally, so our budget is about 50000 a year. In fact, they even qualify for Obamacare credits because they're living frugally on 50000 a year. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Or, yeah, right there. And they're talking about doing Roth conversions. I wouldn't do Roth conversions to, to lose the Obamacare credits. But uh, anyway, I just, <laughs> and this is my man. He says, love Ray Bork even in, uh, when he was even when he was with the Bruins. Love the Bruins. Okay. Anyway, so my man is living on, he raised three kids, he and his wife. They're living frugally on $50,000 a year. Now, is that too frugally? Probably. All right, but if we take our trusted calculator, and I've had this calculator for inflation. I, just think about how much did it cost for a calculator back when you were growing up? A calculator. We've had this calculator for probably 25 to 30 years, this calculator, and it works just fine. Now, it's not anything fancy, it's just good old fashioned, good time rock and roll calculator, but how much did a calculator cost back in your day? I don't even know what a calculator cost when I was growing up. Anyway, so so they need fifty thousand a year, and we'll say okay. So we take fifty thousand, we divide by we'll say four percent rule, 0. 0.04. All right, so fifty thousand divided by 0. 0.04. That means they need one point two five million in which to provide that for that fifty thousand a year. All right, so. 1.25 million. Do they have 1.25 million? I, I don't think they do. And the reason I say it is because very, very few people in America have over seven figures of retirement accounts. So are they screwed? No. Why? Because Social Security. I mean, come on, man. If you need 50000 a year, let's just say you get 3000 a month in Social Security. Your wife gets uh, 1500 a month in Social Security. That's 54000 right there. Tax-free, dudes. Ah. <sighs> I just, and that's at a 4% rule. I use a 5% rule. So how do we figure out how much money we need to accom accommodate the 5% rule? 50,000 divide, 50,000 divide by 0. 0.05. We need a million bucks. That's if we had no social security, but we have social security. So we don't need a million dollars because we only need a million, uh, fifty thousand a year until until Social Security kicks in. So let's just say you're sixty-two and you're hanging up your quick and crap old job. So you got five years. You need fifty thousand a year. All right. So now we need we only need it for five years. So if you just lit, put it literally in, a, uh, in CDs, one, two, three, four, five year ladder CDs, which is what you should do. You put fifty thousand bucks each CD. You need two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Ladder in some CDs and live off your freaking, and live off your social security. And then if you want to you know, uh, get a reverse mortgage to supplement that, more power to you. This isn't difficult, friends. 
This isn't difficult. And I'm sorry, 50000 a year, and that guy put three kids through college. You know what I'm saying? I just... I talk to people all the time. I say, what's your, you know, what's your take with not take home? What do you think you're going to need? And the, the rule of thumb is about 5,000 a month. The rule of thumb is 5,000 a month, give or take. All right. So let's just say you're single. And let's say your social security is only 2,500 bucks a month. So that means you need 2,500 bucks a month to get you the 5,000 a month. All right. So we need 300, we need three, that we need a 25, that's 30,000 a year. So 2,500 bucks a month times 12, 30,000 a year. Divide that by 0.05, we need 600,000 bucks. If we are truly taking as a single person, $60,000 a year, we need 600,000 bucks. All right, is, is that, <laughs> or you could say, we need, if we want to do a 6% rule, because as you're spending, as you age, your spending decreases, 30,000 a year, divide by 0 0.06, we need 500,000 bucks. And that's for a single guy or, or a girl, a gal, lady, chick, <laughs> senorita, spending freaking 60,000 a year? Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Anyway. This, this idea that you can't retire in the United States is so freaking stupid. All right, move to Argentina then. It's cheap down there. Yeah, your inflation is going to eat you alive. You know what I'm saying? The peso down there is like some guy was raising money in Argentina. And it's funny. He said, yeah, um, I need, you know, the minimum, the minimum thing for me, my GoFundMe or whatever it's called, is like 3000 And people were like, dude, no one's going to pay 3000 He goes, no, pesos. They're like, dude. You gotta change that over because <laughs> no one's gonna pay you three thousand. We're thinking it's a dollars. It's kind of funny. So three thousand pesos is like the equivalent of five bucks here or something. Like that. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of funny. Anyway, pull your head out of your butts, man. If you're sitting there and you're like, "Oh my goodness, I gotta move," and if you want to move to the Philippines because the ladies are pretty, I got no qualm with that. I get a pretty lady right there. I don't need to move to the Philippines to get a pretty lady. If you do, that's fine. I get no qualm with that. Filipino women kick ass, freaking hardcore. They'll freaking work you to death in terms of your, you know, they're not shrinking violets, that's for damn sure. You know what I'm saying? If you want to move to freaking the Netherlands, I, I mean, I've never been to the Netherlands. I presume there's some hot ladies up there too. I don't know how much it costs. I don't think it's cheap up there, and I'm not even sure they're going to dig you. Anyway, but whatever, man. I don't care. If that's what you need to do, I don't care. If you're, if you're a lady and you don't have a hubby, well, join the Bertaria Times app, app, A-P-P dot Bertaria Times dot com. Tons of wholesome guys on there who uh, you can meet up with. You know what I'm saying? And they're, they're, they love Jesus and they're, they're, they don't love porn. They're trying to make the world a better place. And they like to farm. They like to raise or maybe not farm, but garden. Just do homesteading, you know, just fruitful stuff as opposed to sitting there all day long. <laughs> And you you link up with a, a better or a significant other, dude. It, you don't need that much money, man. You just don't. All right, love your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to Doobie Dukes down below. We'll see you.